Hi, my name is Dana Brown. I'm Zoja's Director of Marketing, and today I'm going to work through the iOS Quick Start with you. This Quick Start is going to give you an idea of what developing an app for iOS in Zojo is like. First, make sure that you have iOS selected on the left, and we're going to name our application Simple Browser. You can leave the company name blank or enter your company if you choose and then press OK. A Zojo app consists of collection of objects called classes. Nearly everything in Zojo is a class, including screens and controls. In the Simple Browser project, you can use the default screen class to create your screen and you can add controls which are user interface classes, to the screen to create the design. We're going to use three controls for this app. So in the library, first click on the text field icon and drag it to the top left corner of the screen in the layout editor. As you get close to the edges of the screen, you'll see the alignment indicators that help you position the control. In the library, click on the button icon and drag it to the top right corner of the screen. Drag the HTML viewer icon to the remaining empty area of the screen. Resize this control using the selection handles so that it fills most of the screen below the text field and button. Resize the text field so that it is larger. Click on it to show the selection handles, and then drag the right center handle until the alignment guides tell you it's close enough to the button. Your finished layout should look like this. Next, we're going to set the properties, which are the value of the class. Changing the property values allows you to change the behavior of the class. First, we're going to come over here to the navigator and click on Screen 1. We're going to press for the inspector, and now we're going to rename uh, screen one to browser screen. And in the title field, we're gonna change the name to simple browser. You can see that that changed over here as well. We're going to now select the text field so that its properties show in the inspector. We're going to change the name from text field 1 to URL field. The input type is now set to default. Change that to URL. And in the text field, change the text from untitled to the Wikipedia URL. Now we're going to set the properties for the button. Select the buttons show, so that its properties show in the inspector and rename it from button 1 to show button. And change the caption from button to show. Now select the HTML viewers so that its properties show and rename it from HTML viewer 1 to web viewer. Your app is almost complete. Now it's time to add the code that will tell the HTML viewer the web page to display. On browser screen, double click the show button control labeled show. Select the pressed event handler and press OK. Now you need to get the URL the user typed. The value that a user types into a text field is stored in the text property of the text field. Then you want to have the web viewer display the web page. This is done by calling the load URL method of the HTML viewer control 
and sending it to the URL that the user typed. So you need to add this code to the code editor. Start by clicking in the white space below and then enter this code. That's it, your first app is complete. Before you go any further, save your work. Then you can click the Run button in Zojo to run the app in the iOS simulator. In order to run an iOS project, you first need to download and install Xcode in order to get the iOS simulator app that is used to run iOS apps on a Mac. You can download Xcode for free from the App Store, and after you've installed it, you can run it one time to accept its license agreement. After doing this, you can quit Xcode as you will not need it again. Now the iOS simulator has launched showing our simple browser app. It shows the Wikipedia URL, and now you can click the Show button for the HTML viewer to display the web page. And you can play around with it and enter any secure URL uh, you, you would like to. And once you're done, you can quit the simulator to go back to Zojo and play around further with your browser screen app. That's all for the quick start. Check out the tutorial if you want more information about exploring iOS with Zojo.